if any of you guys know anything about, if you got Facebook accounts or anything like that, um, you'll know what I'm talking about here, but this is over on the Wages World group page. All right, now, Scott has one too, the Planet X News group page. And we kind of run them together a little bit. Um, you know, we're mods in each one of those, so we can kind of help take care of things. Um, but he, he posted this, okay? He posted this, uh, this information, and Facebook said it was false information. You know, they're independent fact checkers, or whatever you want to call them, right? <laughs> uh, listen, I'm going to show you guys something right here that's just stupid. Um, so what this, what Scott was saying here was, he was talking about the relationship between, here we'll go to this real quick. Um, it says, uh, to fight false news, Facebook pushes uh, misleading content further down. In other words, they they just put it down in the feed, and finally they just, they just completely quit rec recommending your group at all. Your group gets rated now, guys. So people didn't know that on this issue, on the false information type of thing, right? So we can look at this, and um, so what was their complaint here, right? What was incorrect? Details. Solar activity cycles have little effect on the Earth's climate and are not related to earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Um, let me show you guys something real quick like. Okay, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions aren't affected by solar activity. It says in inadequate support. In other words, there wasn't no like, link to an article or anything. Okay, and I'm not sure if there was or not. He might have had it in there. Um, but again, this is, uh, this is from uh, climatefeedback.org. And they're independent fact checkers is what they are. It says, although solar activity is currently in, in a quiet phase, this is typical of 11-year cycle. Um, it says the effect of low solar activity on the Earth's climate is small compared to global, you guys can read that, caused by the greenhouse emissions. Okay? That's a bunch of stupid bunk right there in my opinion. Okay, other than that, yes, it is an 11-year cycle. But listen, um, we all know, all of us have already figured it out a long time ago. We've been saying this for a long time that sun, the sun has a lot to do with earthquakes. Okay, so we go over here. Okay, it says low solar activity has little effect on Earth's climate. Da, 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 da. This is what I got in my email. Okay, here's the claim. They break it down real quick right here. The sun has gone into lockdown, which could cause freezing weather, earthquakes, famine, say scientists. That was in that was in the, the link that Scott left. It was in his article there. Okay, and he posted this on my page. On the Wages World uh, Facebook page. Verdict from the independent chat, uh, idiots, I'll call them. <laughs> um, it says, incorrect. Solar activity cycles have little effect on the Earth's climate and are not related to earthquakes or volcanic activity. Okay, that's what this thing says. So they're holding to that. Now let me show you something, guys. It's also important for me to tell you guys that this just, you know, uh, what I just showed you from that, I got that email a few days ago. And it was before all this, I'm getting ready to tell you, okay? This is this is uh, from Dutch Senses uh, live stream. He was talking about the earthquake and stuff that happened the other day in, in, a, in a paper that came out. So let me show you this. Now, this is an abstract. What this is, is this gets peer-reviewed by professional scientists, okay? It goes through that network, and they're trying to, that's how they, they quote-unquote, try to make things more correct. Okay, I'll just put it that way. So it says here, on the correlation between solar activity and large earthquakes worldwide, that's the question, or that's what they're going to be talking to. It says, large earthquakes occurring worldwide have, have long been recognized to, to be non-poison distributed. So, involving some large-scale correlation mechanism, which could be internal or external to the Earth, till now, no, no uh, statistically significant correlation of... The global seismicity with one of the possible mechanisms has been demonstrated yet. Okay, now listen guys, that's a bunch of word salad. I get it. So let me tell you what they're trying to say here. Okay, they were trying to figure out if the sun could affect us. Now what they said here was, um, where does it say that? 
uh, involving it says uh, internal or external to the earth a mechanism internal or external external would be the sun guys triggering earthquakes okay so let's go over here and look at the rest of this article then it says right here listen uh, you know they're talking about soho information they're talking about all this stuff. They go on to say, yes, it does. Okay, this is a peer-reviewed paper saying that, yes, this does affect earthquakes. But why did the, the fact checker must have missed that? That's for sure. It says right here that when we get hit with like a solar storm, within a day, we usually get a 5 or a 6 earthquake magnitude. And usually in multiple places that we've been noticing. And then right here, this is an important part of it too. 10 to the 5th. That's the, that's the chances they have of being wrong about this. They do that. They assign like an, a percentage to these papers, whether they, whether they think they could be wrong or not. In other words, that 10 to the 5th is such a big number, it's almost impossible for this to be wrong. I mean, it's always possible, but it's almost impossible. So that is junk that they did that they're doing this, okay? And I wanted to put that out there so everybody can see it. And you know, like I said, we're just trying to share information. Scott just dropped that over there in my in, in the Facebook group, and that's what I got with email like a few days like the next day or something. And what happens is your group page uh, rating goes down. Again, like I said, they quit recommending your stuff, and eventually you just don't get seen. And this is, this is the exact reason. This is how they're trying to control the narrative, guys. You know, free speech. What is that? I don't think we have it anymore, guys. I really don't. But that is what it is. I'm not going to go too much more into that. But I wanted to show you guys that. Um, so, yeah, come on over to the Wages World uh, Facebook page. Uh, everybody gets accepted in. If you break the same rules I have in my comment section, you'll get booted out. Uh, no vulgarity and no attacking each other or other channels. Keep it respectful, but I encourage disagreement because it helps us be better. Okay? And go over and check out Scott's uh, uh, Facebook page too, Planet X News. Dot, uh, Planet X News uh, Facebook page. I'll leave a link to both of them, guys.